Hey, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to go over customizing your whisper bubble. Now today I'm in a different avatar and that's because this avatar is less customized than mine and it makes it easier to find the whisper bubble. You should have no difficulty finding it when we get into it, but if you do, let me know in game or ask someone else for help, they'll help you find it. Uh, first of all, to talk about what whisper mode is. Whisper mode is one of the voice options that are available. You can configure um, entering whisper mode by going to the home tab of your dash and selecting the speaker icon in the top left that is to the right of the one that meets you, which is just a speaker with a single solitary uh, purple sort of semi uh, semicircular line. That's whisper mode. When you turn this on, you'll see that a whisper bubble appears. Users that are inside this bubble can hear you, but users outside this bubble cannot hear you. Additionally, it muffles all sound that's outside of the bubble so that you can focus on what's inside the bubble. It's meant for semi-private conversations within a world such that you can focus on the conversation and not uh, anything going on in the world. Whisper bubbles are not entirely secure and that's why I say semi-private. If you wanna have a you know maximum private conversation, please head to another world or another platform up to you, but whisper bubbles can be breached in various sort of subtle ways. With that uh, explanation done, let's get into customizing it. So I'm gonna turn off whisper mode here and uh, hot in to smooth POV. To edit Whisper Bubble, you're just going to need a developer tooltip here, so I've got this. And then you need to go to the root of your avatar. Easiest way to do this on most avatars is to inspect your hand. To do that, um, equip your developer tooltip, point it at your hand, and hit secondary, and then open inspector. And this will get you to an inspector of your hand's collider. You can then hit the up arrow here, which will take you to the root of the avatar. Once you're at the root of the avatar, you will find the Whisper Bubble settings inside head proxy. I advise expanding the head proxy first so you can see inside it and then selecting the head proxy. This just lets us talk about it a little bit easier. There's lots of components in the head proxy. I talk about some of them in my video where I um, talk to you about how you can move your audio source. So I'll link that in the video description. But today we're just going to be playing with one of them. Scroll down to you see avatar voice range visualize. Let me just clear the gizmos here. There we go. Avatar voice range visualizer is the thing which controls your whisper bubble being on or off. Don't mess with this component that much, but you can actually mess with whisper color min, whisper color max, and whisper color recording message. These three properties control what the whisper bubble's colors are. So if you set whisper color min to a value, that is the value when you're not talking. Whisper color max is the uh, color value when you are talking. A whisper color recording message is the color of the whisper bubble when you are recording a message using the new audio capabilities that are involved. So we can change here this color to be, um, say, yellow. And then and this, this color, color here, here to be, oh, there we go. So I hit this button above here, which uh, does some weird things to audio. Uh, and then this button above here to be a sort of darker yellow. And then we can turn back on the whisper bubble here. And you'll see that if I head into different camera mode here, you'll see now it's this yellow color. And when I talk, it gets brighter. So that's basic editing. But you can actually do more than that. Let me get out of whisper mode again. And what you can actually do here is completely take control of the material itself. To do this, I advise you to, first of all, clear out the visual color property that's here. You can just push this uh, X prop uh, button here and it will clear it out. And then look inside the head proxy for voice range visual. Voice range visual is the uh, slot which turns on when you're in whisper mode. It just contains a sphere, but most importantly, it contains a material here. So here you can see the material has um, various properties on it, including an emissive map and you know various colors, etc. And that's what's controlling how it looks. To get a better idea of how it looks before you turn on whisper mode, you can grab the word PBS intersect metallic, which will create a ball for it, and then click in the world, and that'll make it there. I'm going to clear gizmos again here. And now we can play with this material before we turn on whisper mode to check out how it works. For example, here I can put my fingers into it and you'll see the effect that happens when you enter a whisper bubble where it does that sort of line effect. That's called an intersect material. So here, let's say we wanted, um, you know, things to be a little bit darker, for example. There we go. And let's say we wanted the um, intersection to be red instead of, um, instead of white or pink. There we go, now it's red. We can also go ahead and remove this emissive map here, and now it's just a you know yellow ball that has this red outline. If I now go ahead and turn back on whisper mode, and hop to third person and then world on my camera, you'll now see that's the uh, exact same color as the whisper ball. That's uh, basically it for uh, customizing it. Once you've taken control of the material by changing that uh, color 
field to null. You can also replace the material. You can use any type of material here. I've seen some really uh, really great whisper bubbles. When you are editing the whisper bubble, do bear in mind that it should still look and appear like a whisper bubble. I've seen some that are very transparent and they don't look like whisper bubbles or some that make it really unclear that one's open. This is bad and it's bad because people might not realize that you're in a whisper bubble. They might think you've just got like an effect around you or something. And so they might enter your whisper bubble and participate in a conversation they're not meant to be in. There's sort of a cultural norm going on that, you know, when you see a whisper bubble, you shouldn't enter it. And if people can't tell that you're in whisper mode, they might um, accidentally breach that. So do keep that in mind when you're editing your whisper bubble. That's it on editing whisper bubbles. I'll see you next time. If you've got any questions, do leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. Bye-bye.